Hello, everybody. I got the wrong glasses on. I can see that. I got my up-close glasses. But I'm going to need them in here a bit, so I'll just go ahead and do this when I have to. Old eyes. Stone stock, 2,000 model year, 372. We're going to do something different, guys. We port everything, don't we? Let's do something different. Let's find out why we make the moves in these saws. And I'll explain as I go where the, some of you that's porting, as you progress, what happens is like, boy, my last one run really good. I'm going to make it run better, so I'm going to go further. I'm going to go further. Pretty soon, you cause an inherent problem. And then you sort it out, try to figure out why you got a problem. Then you do this other weird thing that partially solves that problem. So then you do something else. And then next thing you know, you're machining your cylinder just to make the darn thing run right. With no serious, like, just jaw-dropping gains. This is where this leads. We can go overboard real fast. I got a challenge for you. Follow along with this video. Because this is an early cylinder, and I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that it's a good cylinder and piston to work with, because I want to stay with stock bore. I'm well known for my big bores, and they run like crazy good, and everybody likes them, including me. I really like them. Let's use stock timing numbers. Let's do that. Let's just see how valid these moves that I make really are. Let's pull out a bunch of the little tricks. Number one, to keep the saw alive. Number two, for great tunability. Number three, easy starting. Runs all day, doesn't overheat. But let's do it with stone stock timing numbers. That means when we're done, you see on the floor of my intake going to be stock timing, okay? I will deliberately not touch that area. Roof of my exhaust, I will not touch the roof of my exhaust. My transfers, I will not raise my transfers. But let's just see what everything else does. I think it's going to be an interesting journey, don't you? But it doesn't mean I'm not going to alter some of that stuff, because I am. We're just using stock numbers. So what we have to do to get right into this is strip this little bugger out. Um, I've done saws for local guys exactly like this, loggers. They don't, like, ah, I don't want it ported. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to deal with that. Well, you know, no problem. You know, we can get pretty... This is easy gains, guys. Uh, whole lot less grinding. And I haven't done one of these in, well, since before YouTube. Because everybody about to see the crazy guy just grind like nuts. And uh, this, you know, you guys out there, you already know this. I'm quite controversial on YouTube from other YouTubers. They want to hammer on my part. Sorry, Saul. I'm going to give them something to hammer about right here. But wouldn't it be fun? Now, I'll tell you what I am going to do. I'm not saying I'm not altering timing. I, I, I am only for one reason, and it's something stupid. Uh, I did a video a while ago, base gasket delete muffler mod. That went pretty good, quite significantly, actually. So... I am getting rid of the base gasket. Not to alter my timing. I just know these particular series of saws uh, suck the freaking gasket in around the transfers. They suck it in. You know, I've seen them blow it out sometimes too, but generally it's sucked in. Uh, so, and there's reasons for that, which we'll get into why that worked. You cannot say that Husqvarna didn't know what they was doing when they spent millions of dollars developing chainsaws over the years, okay? You can't say they don't know what they're doing. So why won't their numbers work? I guess we'll find out together. But 
it's refreshing to build a 50 millimeter bore saw. Don't don't do many of them. Uh, this is going to be really fun. As we progress, I'll show you little moves with stock numbers that work. Okay, guys. A uh, little bad news, but let, let's work with it anyway. Let's let's just see what we can do. The looks like saw's been straight gas, quite honestly. CR intake side there, and then there's the exhaust side. Oh, boy, I have a hard time with that. Really kind of tore up. See that? That don't look too good. And I can catch it with my fingernail. It might be just transfer, but I doubt it. Here's our piston. Yeah, she's cooked. But here's what the good news is. I did manage to find another cylinder that is nice. It'll work. I mean, it's got wear, but it's going to work. It's going to work. I think it's going to be fine. There's one thing I will promise you. You will not see on my intakes. You're not going to see any grinding marks or on that exhaust. You are not. I will show you the roofs of that. I will show you on my transfers. Now, these got teeny tiny little transfers. Let's just work with what's there without altering numbers. This is what's important. And I hope you guys get a lot out of this because this is fun for me. Yeah, we can go big, born, crazy, nuts, all, everything under the sun. And it's great fun, great entertainment, awesome to run. But you know what's even more fun? It's saying, okay, let's get some serious rules on this. Is what I'm doing as a porter really beneficial you know how to find out run stock numbers that'll tell you right where the bear shit in the buckwheat that's what will do it won't it i said shirt okay i dug and hunted around took me longer than i thought i found a piston it does have wear Nothing bad, though. Okay. So, stock, 372 pistons, straight away. And I found a cylinder that's, it's not perfect, perfect. But it looks pretty darn good, okay? Now, I'm not raising the transfers. Not lowering the intake, and I'm not raising the exhaust. We're going to do all the other moves. This is going to be really, really fun for me. It really is. Uh, of course, all this has to be put in the sonic cleaner and cleaned up to make a video. But first thing, let's just see what the weight is. Now, it'll shed just a whisker once that's cleaned up. 84.9 grams. Let's just see what we can get that to. One Now, be careful with these stock pistons if you're trying to lighten them. We can get them lighter. And I'm going to. And I'm going to show you before and after. So, you know. Okay, that's dirty. 84.9. Remember that number, guys. This is so fun, this stuff is. It's just, I'm sorry, it's right off the hook as far as I'm concerned. It really is. Okay, guys. Now, no port timing alterations, but we're making moves. Here's the first move. Piston weight. One problem the 372 Scott. When you do a base gasket delete, 
as these transfers get partially blocked by that piston at the bottom, which is at the top, right next to the flashlight. They're partially blocked, okay? I want to take advantage of that. It's only momentarily at the bottom and center, but it is blocked. So what I do on each side, I cut a notch. And by experience, I knew about how much. So I didn't reduce it a lot, but I did enough right there on that side and that side. Okay, we're looking for weight reduction, okay? I cut the corners off. See that? Cut them corners off here and here because, you know, they got that little bump on them. Reduced this area. Did not mess with that boss. There's little bumps on that I cleaned up. Okay, down in here by the ring, this had core shift. This side is a lot more. I can take more out of here if I so choose, but I'm not going to. Okay, now also in this area right here, you see that, that shadow line there? I did not thin that any further than that, but that raised part right here, that's a stress riser on each side of these pistons when you see them. Uh, well, kind of like that, but. It's, it, it, they're not as obvious on that one, but anyways, this is the things you do. Get rid of it where you can. Do not sacrifice your strength. I'm warning you. The problem is I, I cause myself a whole lot of filing now. So I said, I'll sit there in the morning, file on one of these buggers, and uh, let's, uh, let's just see what we got. Okay. We're at zero. Remember what we had? 81 and a half. Significant. Remember that number. Here is a stone stock out of the saw wrist pin. 17 and a half. Okay. 14. I gained three and a half grams. Well, I lost three and a half grams by going to that wrist pin. Okay, so when you count up them two figures, look how many grams I've got. Three and a half grams of just that wrist pin. Isn't that amazing? Okay, this is where horsepower comes from, guys. This is the move we're making. Okay. I'm going to show you something else. Here is a set of rings, the factory rings. They have nice width. They're real high tension. Okay? They really are. I may get rid of some of that tension, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do with this ring. Because you got two, not going to run it. Want to know why? Parasitic drag. I'm going to lose half of my parasitic drag caused from rings by just getting rid of one ring. Remember, 371s run one ring. Any go piston you buy for a chainsaw, one ring. And it's a whole thin bugger, isn't it? So they know. They build racing stuff. We're going to follow their lead. I, I'm going to do that. I'm going to make a low tension ring out of this. I'm going to take, I'll measure this, do it right now, we're at zero, okay, I'm at 1.9 millimeter, 9.4, 9 9.5, it's probably 9.5, <coughs> We're going to take a little bit out of that. Let's switch over to inches and just see what that really is. Clear? Zero? Okay. Seventy-six thousandths. I'd like to see that around... Oh... 55 to 60 thousandths, quite honestly, to get my tension, because 
You know, when you squeeze that, that's significant. We're going to do that. Plus, that tiny little bit, we're reducing our little weight. Do not sacrifice strength. Now, I'm going to tell you, this isn't for the fate hunter. What you're going to do is take your little Dremel or your port of Fordham or whatever you port with, put one of them sanding discs on it, and you're going to go around there nice and even. It should take you about three cups of coffee. That's the time period. Don't do it with the beers. I used to measure uh, a time in beers. How many beers did it take to do something? Three cups of coffee now. I don't drink, ain't drinking years. I'm better for it. Okay. Low tension ring, one ring, reduced parasitic drag. You know what's important? I'm not transferring heat to the cylinder either with one ring. And I'm going to reduce by about 30% how much heat this ring creates in that cylinder just from rubbing. This is what I'm going to do. You're going to know if I go too far because it's going to run like a bag of doo-doo. We don't want no doo-doo. I wasn't going to show this part because I'm going to tell you what, about a third or a quarter of the time, something like that, you hear a cuss word. When you do this, you have to get this right. Do take this material evenly. I am warning you. Okay, if you get too much in the middle here, it'll only be right here. It, it, it moves. It won't seal the rest of the way. You are compromising this ring. I'm warning you. If you don't have a good hand, don't try this at home. Buy 10 rings. Come up with 10 rings. Then try it. And let's see if I can screw this one up right on video because that can happen. Okay, well supported. Nice and square. Okay, only work near the table. Get your light where you got a satellite so you can see. Like I said, work slow. I'm going to go around at once and take a measurement. Scary to watch, isn't it? Here's where I got to turn it around. Your tool's cutting this way. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take a measurement. I know I'm not close yet. As soon as I find my dang old veneers. Ah. Okay, I've been walking around carrying things again. I can tell. Okay. They were right where I left them. Amazing, ain't it? We're going to do it in thousands. I'm really used to millimeters on this chainsaw thing. But where's zero? You got to take your average. You, you, you try to be as accurate as you can with this stuff. I'm just telling you. Okay, I'm at 73. 72. 73. C71, okay. 73, 
Okay, we see where this is headed. Let's get it the rest of the way. Actually, tell by looking if you're gaining ground or not. Okay, now I got just a little more. Don't overheat your ring. Let's see where we're at. Zero. Clean. Zero. Fifty seven to sixty three. Let me catch us up. I know what somebody's thinking out there. Oh, you can't get any kind of accuracy doing that, mister. Yeah, I get good enough. Okay, I'm at 55 right there. 61. 59. 59. 57. Okay. I know right where I need to take a little more. Okay, one more. Bunch of sneaking up. Fifty seven. Fifty six. Fifty. So, what? Well, yeah, okay. There, fifty. I got a little bit of a high spot right here. All right. A little right there. 
I know, it was pretty scary. Okay. A little bit thick right here. Little thick right here. I don't know how to get this where you can see it. Okay, I got a thick spot right here. Just a, I, we're talking just a human hair. Fifty three to fifty four all the way through this. Okay, there's a fifty seven. Here's a fifty six or fifty seven. <laughs> You see that? 54 and a half. 53 and a half. Okay, I got just a tiny little bit more. If I'm within three, four thousand, that's fine. But there becomes a spot that you have to stop looking. Okay, a little bit right there. Just a little more. Fifty-three and a half. Okay, we're good all the way around now. Okay, this assembly found out that a nice saw has been straight gassed. Not by me. Uh, I was really hoping the piston cylinder was good. We come up with a, a, a good runner, but it would be, it'd work just fine. We weighed our piston. We did. Between the uh, wrist pin that I've chose and this piston, we have significantly reduced the weight right off of that rod. Okay. Now, here is the mating ring. You can see that one? This is what we just built. Okay? Remember what I said we was at? I can't remember. Okay. 79 thousandths. This is pretty good. I, 
I'm really liking how this turned out a lot. Yeah, see, we're we're having fifty five thousandths. I found one at fifty three and one at fifty six. So I'm within my four or five thousandths that I wanted. Okay, and that way my my tension, I can feel that. But don't do it just there because that's that's showing it better in here. Do it here too. In here. And you'll feel that. You'll feel that between your fingers on this opposite side, no matter where you go. Don't push too hard. And then feel that one. Okay, that's much stiffer. Now this, I've reduced my tension probably 20 to 30%. All right? You would think with the difference that we made, it'd be a lot more. It's not. I'm telling you, it's, I wish I had a strain gauge, but this is in uh, racing kind of territory. Um, will that last? It'll last longer. So your cylinder, if you can manage to do this. I'll tell you why. Less ring tension means less wear on the cylinder. Besides the fact we caught half the darn rings out of the saw. Okay, guys, this is it for today's video. Here's what you're going to do tomorrow. We are going to cover the really slick moves for porting this cylinder without porting the cylinder. We're not altering numbers. We are working with what's right here. And I really, really look forward to this journey with you guys. I get to finally show a lot of stuff that I don't ever show on YouTube. Okay? Uh, you guys are wondering why they like uh, saws that I you see me run or or that you've got from me. You run so hard or buck and billies or whatever. It's little things that don't cost no money. That's what it is. Goodbye.